A specter of controversy looms over the upcoming Invictus Games, the Paralympic-style competition for wounded veterans championed by Prince Harry. At the heart of the storm is Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, whose presence, or rather potential presence, has ignited a firestorm of debate. Invictus CEO Dominic Reed recently issued a bombshell statement, declaring, in no uncertain terms, that Meghan is not welcome at the 10th anniversary games. Reed's pronouncement is a direct challenge to the Sussex's carefully crafted public image. Ever since their explosive departure from the royal family, Harry and Meghan have painted themselves as victims yearning for a life free from the stifling constraints of palace protocol. Yet, Reed's public rebuke suggests a very different narrative, one where Meghan's outsized personality and penchant for drama threaten to overshadow the core mission of the Invictus Games. Honoring the sacrifices of veterans, social media has predictably erupted in a frenzy of finger-pointing. Team Meghan predictably decries Reed's statement as misogynistic and an attack on a woman of color. However, a closer look reveals a more nuanced picture. Many Invictus supporters, veterans themselves, have expressed unease at the prospect of Meghan taking center stage. Their concerns are legitimate. The Invictus Games are about celebrating the resilience of the human spirit, not about providing a platform for a fame-hungry duchess. Furthermore, questions linger regarding Meghan's genuine commitment to the Invictus cause. Her past philanthropic endeavors have often been criticized for being performative, lacking any real depth or understanding of the issues at hand. Her highly publicized visit to a soup kitchen in Uvalde, Texas, while carrying a designer handbag and expensive shoes, readily comes to mind. One can't help but wonder if Meghan's interest in the Invictus Games is more about burning Furnishing her image as a humanitarian than about supporting veterans. Reed's decision then can be seen as a courageous act of defiance, a refusal to allow the Invictus Games to be hijacked for personal gain. It is a stand for the veterans themselves, ensuring that their stories of courage and perseverance remain the focal point. This is not to say that the Duchess has no role to play. She can choose to quietly support Harry from the sidelines, offering him emotional encouragement without inserting herself into the spotlight. However, if Meghan insists on being a central figure, then Reed's message is clear. Her presence is not only unwelcome, but detrimental to the very spirit of the Invictus Games. The coming weeks will be telling. Will Meghan heed the warnings and prioritize the well-being of veterans over her own insatiable desire for public attention? Or will she double down, attempting to force her way into the Invictus spotlight, further solidifying the image of a self-serving social climber, willing to exploit anything, even the sacrifices of veterans for personal